Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Probably saying, Zach, what are you doing in your backyard? What video is this? We're well, probably not saying that because you already know what the video is. We're making zombie traps. Now I know you guys are all, yeah, we're in a zombie apocalypse. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You gotta make traps. You guys, you come to the right place if you wanna know how to make a zombie trap. Well today, we're gonna be building some simple zombie traps and some complicated zombie traps. But I'm gonna need my assistant, Lucas. I will be right back. So let me show you guys how it's done. Let's start off with a simple zombie trap you can do at home. Starting with a piece of wood. See this stick? Usually these paint painter sticks. You can find them, they kind of look like swords. Don't swing them though. This is the first part of the zombie trap. Sticky anymore and has a whole bunch of like camouflage stuff on the back because it got dirty. Now, how this is going to work is you're going to want to wrap this with this and use a little bit of tape. Next, you're going to want to make sure it stays on that part of it. So, you're going to want to have a large piece of tape, stick it right on that sticker like this, and then you're going to fold it on the sides so it stays in that position, which is what you want because you don't want it moving around. Now with it stuck in this position, you have your first part of your zombie trap complete. This part is going to, you're going to need some sort of triangle shaped uh, piece of pillow-layergram pillow shaped block. The two of those, you're going to set them like so. One facing that way and one facing this way. Now this is going to act as a simple zombie trap. Now this will, won't actually catch the zombie. It will literally just trip them. Now it, it depends on what kind of zombies you're going to be wanting to deal with. So in that case you're going to want to, if you want to deal with bigger zombies, you're going to want to make these parts larger like that. That's probably way of saying it. Use the same tape you used for the sticker part. And um, you're going to want to use that to keep this in place. Once you have your correct spot, you want your zombies to be a, a your correct length, you want your zombies to be able to trip on. So now that you have that, you're going to want to tape those. Now remember, this is number one. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep it in place. So you're going to need is some sort of board. Now this is going to be where your zombies are going to trip on. So, and you're, of course you're gonna use your tape and tape it to this. Now you're probably wondering, why did I add the sticky thing in the middle? Well, the, sti the, the thing is so, is so you can actually um, add the tape circles. So the tape circles are what, because the wood you can't actually attach tape circles to, but this piece of paper you can. So with this trap, your feet will get stuck on this. Here, I'll show you when a, uh, uh, hopefully a zombie will come soon. Oh guys, look, there's zombies out there. Here, let me open up the, <laughs> Guys, um, see, that's how it works. And it's completely reusable. As long as the zombie didn't destroy it as much. It actually leaves a shoe print of the zombie if they walked in mud. So see right there, that's muddy zombie shoe print. So, hey guys, trap number one, done. Okay guys, now it's time for the moderate level of trap. You guys, right there is the lawn chair. This is what we're going to be a simple lawn chair. Um, that's the first step. Get yourself a nice lawn chair. Simulate bait, you guys. We're gonna need to make a fake person. Now I have a sweatshirt here that should simulate a fake person. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a body. Not my body. So what you're gonna wanna do now for this? Yeah. I might not look like anyone right now. That's because it's not 
Listen, the first step is that. Oh uh, yeah, first step. Now, next you're gonna want some of his arms. Of course, they need to be the same length. So this should be good. What you're gonna want to do is uh, just wanna stick them up in the uh, thing. Now, if this is a little too long, you might need scissors. Yeah. Hand number one done. Yep. So next part of them's done. You can add paint if you want. But there you go. You got the first part of your trap job. You're gonna need something like this that has wood at the bottom and things at the top. And if you don't have something like this, um, build something similar to the first trap and put it next to it. And then, guys, we'll be right back with the last trap. And looks like my trap works. What I do, I'm modifying this now. I'm gonna put that on like that. So now it's like a pillar. So next you're gonna want to go like this. That's the activator. And then you, you just simply stick it in the ground as a beacon token. So anyone who steps near this, once activated, we have 15 seconds. So once someone bumps this, it will explode. So just get that in the dirt right there. Okay. And 15 seconds. Go. One. Okay. Uh, this is gonna hide over there. Okay guys. Um kinda excited for this. This is the grenade one. Oh, landmine. Look at this hidden. He looks like a really smart zombie, so he's probably gonna go over that one and that one. He's probably just gonna go straight for that grenade. Oh, here comes the zombie. Oh. Um, by the way, what me and Lucas are about to do, don't try at home, because we're going to be making stuff that's super dangerous to zombies and also to us humans. So don't you try anything that you now see at home, but the things before you could have. You can still, but don't do the things we're about to do. See you guys soon, Aaron. Today we are going to be reviewing me and Lucas' friends. Yes. Number one. Um, which one you want? To do, which one should we tell you about first? Um, this one. Huh. This one. Yeah. So, 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 um, the, 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 the uh, um, so I added a computer that sets a signal, a very weak one, but I connected um the the torture metal loof from the gods, and that acts like a super duper big antenna. So, then go. And then, no, keep going and then it goes up here, and then it locks the cute stuff. Okay, guys, now it's my turn. This is kind of like a bear trap. Now remember, like like I said, uh, do not try any of this at home. It, these two traps do not try at home. The others we did, like this one, that one, and that one, you can try at home. We but don't do this one. Zombie. Zombie. Yeah. This so one I is, uh, okay, I want to tell them about my trap. This one um, uses um, barbed wire, and it acts as a um, bear trap, kind of. So as soon as a uh, that rack keeps it in place uh, um, until you want to arm it. So when you want to arm it, you just take out the rack. And then, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, actually. So if you, like, walk over here, and then you put your foot in, this would activate and then it, they would fall, the zombies would fall on the pencil, and then die. And it's portable, completely portable. It even acts as a handle. Remove the rock and the pencil out of the ground, and then you can pick it up. It's portable. Hey guys, this is hiding again. I'm just gonna remain here. I'm not seeing the zombie yet. I should probably get over here so you can see it better. I don't know what, what the, the zombie's gonna go for first. That is a sideways face zombie. 
I need to go into Lucas's first. And Zem's getting electrocuted. Hey, that's one zombie down. Okay, hey guys. This is zombie coming. This is my trap. And he's gonna go for it. And, yep, it worked. Alright. Hey, guys. Um... I guess you can shut the gate now. The two zombies came in and destroyed themselves. Ah! <laughs> Elaine, more through. Okay. Now, zombie. Okay, you guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Now you guys can go back to the R video. Uh, uh, number uh, Part 5, uh, it's the Seekers, and continue watching. Bye. <laughs>